the tape for this battle of unbeaten. 24-0 Amazov, 11-0 Logan Story. Amazov will have the reach advantage. Once again, Michael C. Williams. Live on CBS Sports Network, Bellator MMA now presents a welterweight feature set for three five-minute rounds, introducing the blue corner. At five foot nine, weighing in 170 pounds even, his professional record undefeated with 11 wins, no losses, fighting out of Webster, South Dakota, Logan Stornley. And across the cage is adversary, fighting out of the red corner. At five foot 11, weighing in 170 and one half pounds, he too stands undefeated as a professional. He brings 24 victories with no defeats. From uh, Irpain, Ukraine, presenting Yaroslav Dynamo Amazov. And the referee in charge, Kevin McDonald. Kevin McDonald, our referee. A combined 35 and 0. Amazov, Storley. Fight scheduled for three five minute rounds. Here we go. Tonight's fight clock presented by Geico. Amasov in the red gloves, Logan Storley in the blue gloves. John, the first thing I noticed with Logan Storley, look at the size of his legs. Jeez. I never had big legs, so I admire other people that have big legs. Logan Storley, a six time state champion because in the states of South Dakota and Minnesota, you're eligible in seventh, eighth, ninth grade, and then of course, your high school years. In seventh grade, he beat an 11th grade. Now, in MMA, he is trying to beat the man who has the best record of all active fighters in the sport. That's a very important element that we just saw. You saw Logan going after that, did not get the takedown. That's important for Amazon. But this right here is very important for Logan that he continues on in trying to get that takedown. You don't understand how much of a mental break it is when you can't get the takedown and you're the opponent. Someone's trying to take you down. If I can stuff your takedown, it starts to kill your, your momentum and they give up on the takedown. And Logan Storley can't afford to do that in this fight. No, he cannot. That's pretty much what Amazon said pre-fight, Josh. He's a good wrestler when he's on top, but I think if I advance two or three times, he will tire. My takedowns will take over. I am more versatile. John, I can't explain to you how impressive this is so far what I'm seeing. He's just driving his knee into the ground, staying heavy on that hip, so Storley can't pick up the leg and start to drive into him and get to the takedown. That was, a, that was actually a really nice reshoot by Logan in the middle of that uh, attempted takedown because he had, you saw Amazov starting to run out of it. You saw Logan reshoot on it, and Amazov again fought off that takedown. I mean, if I had to say there was a similar opponent, John, it would be Ed Ruth. Sure. Ed Ruth being a, a three-time national champ out of Penn State, whereas the two of them had some battles and scrambles in there. I know that Logan Storley is a good wrestler, but the level of wrestling is completely different between Ed Ruth and Logan Storley. Well, there, if there's one thing also, if you're looking at the difference between them as fighters, is Logan doesn't have the stand-up that Ed Ruth has as far as... Ed has already proved that he's got power in his hands and can be dangerous at times in the stand-up. Logan has not proved that at this point in his career. Here's the thing that Logan had mentioned, though, John, is that Amazon fights at like 60, 70, sometimes 80%. We haven't even seen the best Amosov yet, which is crazy because he's just so relaxed, so composed in all of these positions. That hip switch right there was beautiful. Get him to a hand. Where his hands at? Amosov respectfully said he thinks Ed Ruth is better. Ed is a big guy in his skills in wrestling. Not tall, smaller, which is better for me. Speaking of Logan at 5'9". Amosov at 5'11", you saw on the tail of the tape, the reach way, advantage. But Amosov's been working at ATT with Austin Vandefer, uh, 
Johnny Eblen, like guys like that that are physically bigger guys than Logan Storley and very, uh, very good wrestlers as well. Austin Vanderford looks and who gets the takedown? Go. Who that's gets the first one with the takedown? And that's what Yaroslav said pre-fight, John. That is exactly the difference in this guy. He is not the wrestler, he's not the striker, he's the MMA fighter. He does it all. Nice switch Ooh, there by Logan. But again, Amazov takes him right out of it. You saw a little bit of that frustration right there with Logan. He sat down on his knee, got to his own feet, and he sat and just kind of sat there for a second before he stood back up. But the difference right now that we have to see out of Amazov is when Logan makes these attempts, you've got to make him pay for it. Yep, stuck in those hands, go. You hear ruthless Robbie Lawler saying, start getting those hands going. But this is what Amosov needs to do, is you need to make it uncomfortable. You, weren't, you haven't been able to take me down yet, and I've been able to take you down. Now there's more mentally, there's more pressure on Logan Storley as the fight goes on, John. Pace, pace, pace! 20 seconds! Win the round! Nice, Logan! You're good! Two unbeaten fighters from two of the best camps in the sport. Finish! Finish! Stop! Main break. Round two. Round two. Here we go. Logan Storley did not sit down between rounds. Yuroslav Amazov sat down on the canvas, which might mean somebody forgot the stool. It might mean exactly that. Amazov came out with a beautiful left-right combination. He just landed on Logan. Right hand after that. I'm done. Kneel it, between the rounds, you heard Robbie Lawler say, believe in your hands. And the hoofs said the same thing. Let your hands go, but he's going to have to use that to set up his takedowns. I don't think you're going to see him shoot a whole lot on the legs anymore. He's going to try to shoot on the legs and work his way up to the body lock. John. There it is. There it is. Yep. Keep that pressure on him. Don't that voice so of ruthless good. Robbie Lawler definitely penetrates yes. through this empty yes. arena. That was yeah, nice right there. Him. Nice job Control. by Storley. Got Amazov to turn for that balance point. Well, here goes Amazov. This is where he won the scrambles with Ed Ruth as well, which is crazy to think because Ed Ruth's ability to scramble is just insane. He didn't win that one with uh, Story. So he did a good job of maintaining that position. How about you hit him once? Let's go. Making, <laughs> making Amazov carry his weight. Robbie Lawler, how about you hit him once? <laughs> When Logan Storley fought in his home state of South Dakota, I saw Robbie Lawler, he was with him, and I asked about him, and Robbie simply said, if I didn't believe in Logan Storley, I wouldn't be here right now. This is the fight that I was the most excited to see on this card, John, because I knew it would be a chess match, exactly what we're seeing right here. That first one was pretty good. Well, we know how That's good Logan Storley is. Not every wrestler's wrestling translates into MMA well, but Logan Storley has, and he's very good with it. But we've seen Amazon and seen how good Amazon is in this scramble type situation right here and what he can do. Yeah. Set up that Dars. Got that Dars, and it's in a position that can work. And that's in tight. Oh, that's in tight. Oh, he finished it right here, right now. It's going to be over. Oh, he got the leg free. Nice job by Logan Storley. He's able to slip out with the sweat. Yeah, but he is definitely gassing from the pressure of that choke. 19 finishes amongst his 24 wins. Well, we talked about his ability to scramble, training with Kamal Usman. So this is where he feels like he can excel in this fight to make uh, Amosov tired. Well, you got to figure he's going to practice against guys like Gilbert Burns and having to survive the submissions that a world champion is putting on him. So he's been there before. That was a really nice job by Logan Storley. Amazon, 10 career wins by submission, eight of those by choke. Storley oh. survives. Amazon mouthpiece came out. Nice shot by Logan Storley. That was sweet. Continue to put the pressure on him. The instruction from the corner of Storley in the blue gloves. Chin down. Yes. Stay sharp. Stay high there. Get to the hole. Hey, shove that leg. He's trying to set up that Darcy again. Here he goes. He's good at rolling through on that. 
very go, good with it because that's not an easy thing to do. John, as this fight goes on though with Amasov, he always fights at this 60-70%, so nothing has a ton of power on it. You see how relaxed he looks right now. But right now, when you're taking a look at what's everything that's happened with all the action in this, it's only Amazov that's been in positions to cause an end to this fight. Right now, Stormy has won what we call positional control at times, but nothing as far as endangering Amazov, and he's going right back to that Darce. Control the wrist, he moves your guard. Right now it would be, yep. Nothing at this minute. point. He's decided to let it go. Yeah, One minute. Now less here in round two. You work, no, me, me. One, two, yes. Get on the top. Get on the top. Stay here. Stay here, Bill. A chess match indeed. And both of these guys have put a ton out in this fight. They're both tired. They have both just been going crazy as far as the positional changes, Josh. But Logan Storley just gave up the position. He conceded the position and sat to his hip. Which is not normal for Logan Storley because we have never seen Logan Storley on his back in this position during the fight. Storley said he changed up his cardio for this fight to the Olympic work bike sprints. Because he knew it was going to be the toughest 15 minutes of competition that he has ever had. And we are headed to the final five. Stop. Clean break. On CBS Sports Network. Third and final round. Five minutes remain. A combined 35 and 0. 24 wins for Amazon. 11 for Storm. John, we talk all the time between rounds about the corners, being truthful and honest with their, with their fighters. Andrew Hoof just said that Logan Stoller is winning this fight. What do you have to say? He also said he was winning the scrambles, and I, I, I didn't see it. And right now, it could be I, it could be that he's even in this fight. That's a, that's a good possibility, but he's not winning it. He's got to win this round for sure. Amazon possibly needs to win it too. Nice knee to the body by Amazon. Yes. Yes. Logan's having success yes. with his hands. You just got to have a little more confidence when he throws it. So what you're, what you're seeing right there, there's no counter. Look at there's no counter by Logan. He needs to be countering at that point. And, and I know it's easy for me to say on the outside here, but you're as tired as he is. Not an easy thing to do. And that right there was a, that's a veteran move right there that Amazon did. He stuffed the takedown and came back and touched him and touched him. Not so, not anything super hard to load it up on, but he just touched him to let him know I'm gonna make you pay every time you miss a shot. And that's big, uh, with nice lead when you're talking about judging in MMA. They're looking to see that you you should get, you know that guy comes in he shoots the takedown and then you make him pay for it. That scores. Both men knew they were in for a battle. But John, how do judges score? Like, Amosov makes it look so fluid. There's not a lot of power. He doesn't load things up. As a judge, it's like, sure, you're landing, but nothing really looks like it's landing hard. But we've seen in the past, when he touches people just like that right there, he just lifted the leg, and he went down. Things are, it seems like things come out a little harder, a little bit more technical from him. How do you judge that, though, as a, as a judge? Well, right now, when you look at Amazon's fighter, everything that you're seeing is what we call volume. He's hitting him with volume. He's not hitting him with real heavy shots. He's not hitting him with what we call damaging shots where you see him get hurt. But he's putting volume on it, and that right now is winning in this round. Showed good discipline, too. Hesitating and not throwing that kick earlier when Storley was down. I know, I was really worried when all of a sudden I saw him start to get out. And he started to chamber that kick, and I was like, don't, 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 don't. He stopped. Don't get in the way of an outstanding battle. John, for someone who has really no wrestling credentials, Amosov, he just, he's wrestling with the best guys. And the, some of the best guys in the world. Well, you're four-time combat ensemble world champion. You've done a little grappling. Pick a side. Pick a side. Look at him trying to get his hips high above Storley's hips. Oh, 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 that's in. 
Sean, he's got that behind the head and under the chin. With it. There's no doubt he should hold on to that, relax, just squeeze nice and comfortably. A lot of air in his chest right now will help that make it tight. That's a lot of energy going out right now if Logan can't finish this, though. It is definitely not going to be finished. But now it was close, and he snuck it in quick. I've said, like, there's chances for people to get out of submissions when you're sweaty, but there's also chances to get them in. Definitely the most significant moment of this third round. No doubt about it. Right now, you got to take a look. Amazon was winning the round, but right now, Storley's getting it back. Working for it, trying to lock it down again. Can he get it? It is not there, it's on the jaw. It's on the jaw. Amazov is gonna be fine, he just needs to. He's gotta calm himself down, he's breathing through his nose. It's pressure on the jaw, it's not comfortable, especially when you got someone strong like Sterling doing it. That's in tight, you see Amazon starting to turn. Now nicely done, great job by him. But if it is 1-1 as we enter the third round, Huge momentum swing for Logan Storley. Absolutely. Logan Storley is doing exactly what he needed to do. This is where we've seen Logan Storley be so good. 20 seconds. Right now, Logan Storley's arms are heavy from trying to get that choke, but he's fighting, man. What a third round, especially the second half of the third from Logan Storley. It is in the hands of the judges. Who has gained the victory? Who will remain unbeaten? We will find out. Coming up next, the battle of unbeatens lived up to every expectation. Take a look at the final numbers. And now let's hear what the judges have to say from The Voice, Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, for the decision, we'll go to your three judges at cage side. Your first judge, Dave Torelli, scores the fight 29-28. He sees the fight for Storley. Your second judge, Jaron Vallel, 29-28. He sees the fight for Amazov. Your third and final judge at cage side, Doug Crosby, scores the fight 29 to 28 for the winner by split decision still undefeated Yaroslav Dynamo Amazon. The still undefeated didn't give any hint to either fighter as Michael C. Williams gave the official decision. It goes to Dynamo.